Cooter Malloy coming at you with another exciting video. We have Mario. <laughs> Mario, tell us about what you guys are doing today. So this is event called uh, this event is called Intro to Speed. Um, we started this January of 2020, right before the pandemic. Uh, the goal here is to show up, bring whatever toy you have that's electric that you can stand on or ride, and um, just get better at using it. Um, it can be an go. electric unicycle, any bike, electric bicycle, electric skateboard, uh, Segway. I mean, anything that you ride that you think you can, you need work on. Here's like where you brush up on it, and then you take it out on the street, and you know, be safer. Okay, okay. <laughs> so show. So here we got a woman coming in. So what are what are you telling these guys and girls, <laughs> like on how to improve their skills? So for unicycles. Unicycles are tricky at first because you tend to get speed wobbles like immediately because you're super uncomfortable and it's this thing that you're just standing on and you're trying to figure out. So what has helped me like figure out the unicycles when you're coming into like a like a really hard break, you kind of want to do like a sitting motion. If you're coming in Let's okay. Let's build a scenario. So you're coming into uh, this hairpin here. So they're coming in right now. So the guy's coming into it. You wanna so and you're going at a fast speed. You're, well, you wanna break really hard. And to do that, you really you do like the sitting down motion where you literally like you're gonna sit down on a chair to like break really hard. Okay. And that keeps your wheel stable and it breaks really hard. Okay. And that's and that can be tough to do, but that is like a really good technique to do to set you up for the turn. So okay. you're coming in full speed into the turn and you sit down basically you come into it you're like you know you're coming into it fast and when you're gonna get ready for the turn you, you, you lean back you first lean your back and then you kind of like sit down as well okay and then you'll break and then you measure how much you can you need to break <coughs> break to then set you up for the turn there so here comes another one here comes another one so, so talk us through what's going so on right here. there he's sitting doing the sitting down motion and then he's twisting his upper body so you it kind of like it's a relationship between to, to make the turn it's like you're sitting down to break as much as you can and then you're also with the unicycle you twist your shoulders so if you want to go left for example here you're you're twisting your shoulders and then the rest will follow okay okay so that's pretty much what's happening there and every Everybody watching this video can see that, right? Go back, rewind, do what you gotta do. <laughs> but you yeah. see the twisting motion. <laughs> so yeah, you're pretty much you're setting yourself up. If you're going to do like an intense turn, with like high velocity, like you really want to use your upper body a lot. You want to twist your left. You want to twist your right, okay. and then twist to the left. Oh, cool. So then here we got here we got a board coming in. So now what would be the difference between a board? So a board and a one wheel. So the unicycle is your. It's similar, but it's different. You're on the. On the unicycle, your whole body is just facing forward. Your your hips are like facing forward. Your feet are facing forward on a unicycle. On a skateboard, you're, you're, you kind of want to mimic the same where you're kind of facing forward. You really don't want to ride it like a snowboard. Uh, <laughs> you don't, because a skateboard acts differently. You know, you're you're pretty much balancing on bushings. You're balancing on these tiny little bushings, and um, if you ride it like a skate like a snowboard, you're gonna have to use a lot of ankle muscle, which is something that's really tough to do like okay. muscle like ankle muscles are really tiny so what we do instead is instead of riding it sideways like a snowboard we shift our feet a couple degrees and then we try to and we shift our hips as well to look forward and that will help you a lot with stability okay just think of it i like to think of it as like if you're if you're on a tightrope so for example let's look at this board here so shout out to uh, ernesto in new york <laughs> This this board's for sale, by the way. Hit up Mario. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> not yet, almost, almost. Um, right. No, no, it's not. I don't think so. Maybe if we need to, but I don't think I need to. So show us um, what you're gonna show us. Okay, so um, I like to think of a, a skateboard like you're on a tightrope. It's okay. like a, it's like what has helped me understand it. So between this, between like these two screws here in the center. All the way down this, the board to these two screws, you're on a tightrope basically. And the way that everybody you know, drink some water. <laughs> the way that the professional <laughs> tightrope. People, hydration alert! Yeah, hydration, hydration alert! alert. It is really hot out. That's a good time to like that video too. <laughs> so pretty much when you're on the board um, and you're riding it like a like a snowboard, you're you're gonna find that the board is gonna wanna go kind of naturally 
you're gonna be using your ankle muscles and since they're not they're not very developed or very strong and they're really tiny you're gonna struggle with speed wobbles at higher speeds okay so when you, because you're on the tightrope that you're standing on um, you're kind of like this okay. whereas if you stand on a tightrope and you watch like the professionals do it they're kind of like their feet are on the tightrope like that okay uh, versus like that. So stand stand parallel to the board. So or your feet should be parallel to the board. And it doesn't. And I'm, by what I mean by that, it doesn't have to be your feet. You don't have to ride your board like this. But shifting your feet from like a snowboard stance to like kind of like a somebody um, forty five degree angle. Forty five degree angle. <laughs> Stelita from San Diego. She called it um, the surfer stance. So okay. if you switch it over to the surfer stance, which kind of goes like that, you're going to find that you're finding more stability because you're, instead of relying on your ankle muscles like this, you're, you're kind of locking your feet in to a position where um, you're using your whole body instead of, you're kind of using, like, you're using it up here. And okay. it's a little, it's a concept that I, that's helped me understand how to explain how I ride. <laughs> and what about, what about, uh, what were you saying about, like, hips and, uh, Shifting your body weight around. So let's so, say yeah, you're getting so ready to do a turn. Not only are you shifting like from looking to the side, you're shifting your, your feet along with your hips to the pit. So you're riding instead of sideways like that, you're shifting your, your hips forward slightly. Oh, that's good. Okay, yeah, that's good. So you're kind of shifting it over here. So then it, your body kind of. Oh yeah, you're going to. So you're steering with your body more but, than with your small ankle muscles. Okay, gotcha. Because you don't have ankle muscles like Arnold, you need to build those up fast. Right. So you need to use your hip muscles more. <laughs> hip muscles. Yeah. Exactly. Come on, stop yeah. screwing around and get back to the video. Bring the homies. <laughs> but yeah, that is like a huge tip that has helped me um, ride at higher speeds but with like stability. It's, um, it's not a snowboard, it is a skateboard that you ride with a surfer stance. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Do people ever ride these things backwards? I mean, you can. <laughs> they do go backwards. Yeah, they do go backwards. Yeah, I'll, I'll ride it backwards. Here you go. Here you go. So it goes forward, right? And then if you're patient with it, you ride backwards. <laughs> Only here on the Cooter Malloy channel. Make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Check out Mario. Mario, what's your, what do you do? Instagram, Facebook, what's your thing? YouTube? Um, I'm not super active anywhere damn it um but i do have an instagram um mario underscore rides with a z at the end of rides yeah there you go we're trying to get more people and what's the, what's the name of the group again so everybody knows so this is called this event is called intro to speed there you go there you go all right guys find hit, us on facebook there you go hit that like button hit the subscribe button check out some links down below to some pretty cool products we'll see you on the next exciting video yeah. thanks mario Later.